and welcome to another intriguing episode of Spirit of HRRL. In this series, we are bringing you interesting and inspiring stories of all the officers and workers who are working for this mega project. To give you a perspective, this is India's largest greenfield refinery com petrochemical complex with a capacity of 9 million metric tons per annum. And today, we have a leader amongst us. We have Executive Director Operations and Commissioning Mr. Udit Nandi with us. To know about his journey, his perspective about HRRL and how he balances work and life, let's dive into this interview without further ado. Hello sir, uh, we are truly privileged to have you here on this platform uh, interviewing us, giving us your uh, perspective. As a first question, you are a very experienced uh, person in uh, commissioning and operations. And uh, so how would you describe the uniqueness uh, and the scale of uh, HRRL commissioning journey? I will say HRRL is a kind of generation type of project, once in a generation, in a type, generation. type of okay. uh, project. We normally don't see a such huge, large project in lifetime, okay. in service life. So if you say the vastness, uh, the complexity, everything is different from whatever I have done previously. Those were brownfield project, you know. Okay. Those were expanding the facilities within the refinery which is running. It had different challenges. But this particular project is a greenfield project. I just want to compare uh, area-wise. Okay. It is just four times bigger than our Vishak refinery, which we are having, oh. which is around thousand acre area, thousand odd. Okay. After VRMP has added. Okay. And here it is four thousand eight hundred acre. Oh, almost it's five times. Almost. Yeah four to five ah. times bigger than this. So this is the project. I can say I am very happy. I mean, very uh, honestly, I am very uh, privileged to be included in this project. Here we say we are not making the any refinery. We are actually making our dreams. Okay. We are actually making our vision here. So that's what HRRL is. It is going to make India proud. We are happy to be part of that. That's so nice to hear, sir. And uh, like I'm also very privileged to you know interview you and uh, interview the team of HRRL here uh, and be a little part of this project and uh, contribute towards you know projecting this. Yeah. So, in terms of uh, operational safety, reliability and technological advancement as compared to any other refinery, uh, you are saying this is the one of the generational projects. So, how is it different from uh, those refineries? As far as safety, reliability, every refinery gives some importance, most of the importance to that. So, HRRL is not a different one. But definitely any safety incident or any reliability incident it normally follows the incident triangle. Okay. The three sides of the triangle are process, people, and procedure. Okay. So if your process is strong, if your people are capable, and the procedures are in place, definitely incidents are going to be less. So HRRL is a world-class refinery in making. Okay. So very soon we'll be commissioning and every step at the design stage, the best process technologies are considered. Okay. The best safety integrated systems are taken, digitalized. And you can say in comparison to our legacy refineries, you can say HRRL represents a giant leap towards automation. Okay. In terms of other refineries? In terms of other refineries actually. So this is world class? Uh, it is world class actually. And I just want to say as far as reliability is concerned, we are having five sources for our power supply so that one source fails, other four will take charge. We are having India's largest 66 kV 
GIS with us. Okay. So similarly, several other things are happening here. And second part is people. We have taken experienced people. We have taken people right from college and we are giving, imparting training to them. Uh, I would say we have sent our college graduate students who, whom we have uh, recruited, we have sent them to our Vizag refinery, Mumbai refinery and in HMEL refinery for three months for training. training. So rigorous training of three months in respective units, they are trained actually. Okay. So this is how I think we are making our team capable to handle such big commissioning. So nice to hear sir, uh, you have put it uh, in a very nice way that how it is different from all the other refineries and how it is also world class. And not only that, with the training that you are imparting to the young graduates, you are actually creating the next generation yes. of refiners for this country. So that's very nice to hear sir. Having seen Pachpadra, you know, uh, this area from a barren landscape to this modern refinery that we are currently in. Uh, so what personal emotions or uh, milestones uh, stand out uh, in this journey of yours? See, uh, as far as transformation is concerned, I will say Pachpadra is evolving from dust and dream to development and destiny. Oh, very nicely put. So, when I came here, it was overwhelming. I have seen barren lands, sand dunes, but in that, I have seen the life. The life in making. Life in making. It will become the energy hub of India, I can say. Okay. And tomorrow, we all will be proud to be associated with this project, project, which will be the heartbeat of not only Rajasthan, but of India. Okay. And such a big petrochemicals and refinery integrated project, project. is uh, a real pride uh, for us, all of us, actually. And uh, one thing I can just tell you, we always heard life is not made of roses. Mm. But after coming to Pachpadra, I realized there can be life beneath the thorns also. Thorns us. Oh, that's so that is what is HRRL going to bring to Pachpadra. That's uh, very nicely put up, sir. And uh, uh, thank you for uh, articulating it so well. So uh, the next question that I want to ask you is, you have over 33 years of service, uh, leading operational, technical, commissioning and safety function. So uh, if you look back at your career, so uh, which role shaped you most as a leader and why? Which is the role that you cherished most? What to say in this, every role has enriched me. Every role has different dimensions uh, which bring leadership qualities, rather which develops leadership qualities in people. But I feel leading operating team and being associated with operation uh, had much more uh, richness in that because operation needs Agility, oh. it demands quick decision, quick but precise decisions. Okay. It requires a variety of people to lead, oh. a different complex team to lead. So that way I feel operation has brought a lot of leadership qualities within me. With you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have spoken about your professional journey. We have spoken about HRRL. But uh, what do you do to unwind for work-life balance? Uh, something that you do in your pastime that you would like to enlighten us with? Work-life balance, yes, definitely a big question. But point here is, life is taken care by your corporation, company, when we work inside the refinery. So they take care of our family. So that way, yeah. uh, it's great to work in such a good corporation, you know. But when I go back home, the stress of the day, for that, you know, I dip myself in the colors. Okay. I am an amateur artist, you can say. Okay. So, I do painting. So, when I put colors in the uh, canvas, white canvas, 
that relieves all the stress. All the stress. So I believe every human being should have some hobby to take out the stress from the life. So definitely painting helps me a lot in that. That's uh, actually a very important uh, part of the life and uh, that's going to be a very nice, uh, you know, inspirational thing for the, all the young people who are, you know, aspiring to be, you know, working in this uh, difficult field, in this uh, difficult circumstances and also have a hobby of their own to, you know, uh, relieve themselves. Sir, so just last one question, uh, we would uh, end up as a mentor and a seasoned professional. What advice would you like to give to young professionals uh, who are joining this project, who are joining this field? Please embrace to ground reality because what you can learn by reading books, you can learn in minutes while working in field. Okay. This sort of commissioning will enrich you like anything. You cannot imagine how much you will learn from it. But at the same time, stay focused, stay resilient and you can see that HRRL project where uh, the preparedness and the feeling purpose both matches, matches. Na? that becomes stepping stone for your career. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you sir. Thank you for uh, you know agreeing for this interview and uh, giving us a nice perspective about your career, about how to proceed in life and also about this beautiful project which is you know uh, making great wave and great transformation not only for HPCL but for Rajasthan and for India as a whole. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you very much.